Everyone, new developments tonight in that murder-suicide in Fairport. We have learned the FBI is connected to the case. Law enforcement sources tell us that the FBI agents were at John Bielman's home on Williamsburg Road Tuesday, the day before Bielman killed his daughter and then himself. We're working to find out why the FBI was there. Meanwhile, Ashley Edlin tells us those who knew Bielman's daughter are grieving tonight. We talked to some who knew what has been reported by mainstream media as an apparent domestic murder-suicide case, in which a man named John Bailman from Fairport, New York, allegedly killed his own disabled daughter and shot himself afterwards, could be hiding a sinister connection with the Las Vegas massacre two days before, pointed out by alternative websites regarding a battery charger found by the Las Vegas police inside the alleged gunman's room, whose model if verified, could have made Bailman a liability, who was executed after watching his daughter die in the biggest government conspiracy after the 9-11. According to unconfirmed sources on the internet, the charger, which reportedly didn't match any of the other electronic devices belonging to the dead Patsy found in the room, was manufactured by John Bailman's former employer, the Ultra Life Corporation. A U.S. military contractor that manufactures military-grade lithium batteries for portable electronic devices used by special forces which makes the device a potential smoking gun proof of multiple shooters located at the Mandalay Bay and vicinities. Multiple shooters who are likely to be black ops mercs, working for government contractors such as the ones impersonating a SWAT team while walking down the Tropicana Resort in Las Vegas right after the bloody massacre pinned on Stephen Paddock who's been proven to be alive by the way. Private goons with a very aggressive behavior, escorting two not less suspicious civilian looking individuals, who are certainly part of a major plot involving alphabet government agencies, casino moguls, gun runners and military contractors. Now whether the information about the charger found in the Patsy's room will ever be verified, and a possible link with John Bailman's death confirmed, I absolutely doubt because the cover-up is full steam ahead, they are quickly tying the loose ends, and very likely we will be hearing about more suspicious deaths in the next days.